Hi everyone! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome! It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So, welcome to your readings for August of 2018. Summer is almost over. Boo. I know, it sucks. But, on a happier note, I want to give a big ol' happy birthday to the rest of the Leo clan that are finishing out your birthdays. It's your birthday season. I hope you guys had a great one. And I want to extend a happy birthday to the, Var the Virgos. Yeah, we're going to be going into your season soon. So, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, so, down to business. These are general readings, okay? So, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yes, don't try to like fit something in there and then, you know, when it, you know, it really doesn't resonate, it doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, I am officially back in business when it comes to personal readings. Yeah. So if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all of the information in the description box below, um, which includes the readings that I offer, a little bit about them and my email address. Yes. And their prices. If upon reading through them, you don't really know what reading you think would work best for you, just go ahead and email me. We can chat a little bit about your situation and then I should be able to decipher which reading would be best for you. Yeah. If you are in the New York City metro area, I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. That is located on 14th Street between 1st, I'm sorry, between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan. Please come by and see me. I would love to meet you in person. You can either come through as a walk-in, you know, at the time that you want, whenever it's convenient for you, or you can go to the website, which can be found in the description box below, and get their phone number. And from there, you can schedule a reading in advance. Yeah, definitely works out well that way. For the readings this month, I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck. Look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty and golden. Well, actually, you can't, can't really see it that way, but you'll see it when we get into the reading, yeah? And then I will be pulling some Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck by Lucy Cavendish. Yes? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. So, without further ado, let's get to it, yeah? Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for August 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get to it. All right. Hey Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Sagittarius to serve the highest good of all involved for this month period, <laughs> of August 2018. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm good. We're good. Hey, whoo, Sagittarius. Woohoo. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of yellow. A lot of yellow, Sagittarius. And this is good. I mean, this is good. This is vibrant. This is happy. This is joyful. I mean, this is your energy to a T. Like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling all kinds of fun right now. Like, let's go out and do something. You know, that kind of thing. Um, bright and joyful. You might be, like, super in touch with your willpower right now. Like, just, just got all kinds of inspiration and ideas and you're just ready to go. And I love that. I really love that for you, Sagittarius. I do want to say, just, you know, don't, try not to move too quickly, but also I don't want to dim your shine right, right now. Like, you're feeling it. <laughs> you're feeling good, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, there you are. Oop. Okay, I'm going to give you one more shuffle, Sag. Um, I, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. We've got some flyers here. We've got the Fool. The Fool is in reverse. We've got the Three of Wands, that's also in reverse. And we've got the King of Cups. Ha! Oh boy. All right, so King of Cups here is upright, okay? I'm picking up that this is mostly your energy, Sagittarius. There's a level of confidence and self-awareness when it comes to your emotions. And this is what, and I was just about to say, Orange is a very prominent color for you. So for some of you, there is very much a deep understanding of who you are on an emotional level. 
And with the Three of Wands in reverse and the Fool in reverse, y'all aren't waiting around anymore. Y'all ain't whoever I'm ch this this is this is resonating with right now. You're not playing the Fool anymore. You don't need to because you're sh you're sure of yourself. You know who you are. And you know what you have to offer. And if somebody's not willing to take that offer, if somebody just wants to, like, fuck around and play games with you, bye. <laughs> bye, Felicia. I like this, Sagittarius. Because you still... With this King of Cups up, up right here, you're still very grounded. In your emotions. I want you guys to under look at, see how this has, this guy has like one foot on the ground here. Balanced in your emotions. Now, this could be you, Sagittarius, but it also could be someone else. So if you are one of those Sagittarians that's like crazy in and out all the time, not grounded, doesn't want to settle down, you might have been playing games with people, whoever you've been dealing with is over it. Is not waiting around for you anymore to like grow up or want to settle down. Is not playing the fool for you anymore thinking, oh, maybe they'll come. Nope. Done. Absolutely done. Okay. Cool. So let me shuffle one just a few more times here. And then we'll get into the spread. I do feel like that those flyers, though, were mostly for the Sagittarians in some sort of love situation or emotional situation. Um, that could be family, too, what I'm getting here right now. There is a small percentage of you in which the Sagittarian is the one being let go of. Okay, we have another flyer here. <laughs> Page of Swords in reverse. Underneath the deck, woo, we've got the Devil in reverse. So either you or someone else, Sagittarius, is, like I said, done. Doesn't need to try anymore, doesn't need to know anymore, doesn't want to look at it anymore, doesn't want to watch you anymore, or you don't want to watch them anymore. You're not seeking information about them anymore. You're not keeping tabs on them on social media. You're just not, you're not wanting even to communicate anymore because someone is, has come, whoever this is resonating with, someone has come to the understanding that this was a toxic relationship. A toxic situation. You could have been dealing with um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, with that King of Cups that came out. You also could be dealing with um, a Capricorn here with the devil. And I'm picking up some pretty specific information here. If there is a Capricorn in your life, you are the one backing away. Because their self-deprecating nature got was just too much after a while. It was just like, I feel like whoever, because this is pretty specific. It could be one person. It could be a number of people. Um, but it's not a, a large amount. But whoever this Capricorn is, was is like super ridiculously rooted in this self-deprecating energy. And I really feel like Sagittarius, you were the one that wanted to come through and almost save them. I know what that feels like, but that's not always going to work, as you are finding out right now. <laughs> but hey, we learn, we move on. And to be quite honest, to be quite honest, Sag, if this is what's going on with you, you're, you still learn a lot more about yourself, and you're way more sure of yourself with that King of Cups that came out upright, okay? You know who you are on an emotional level, and you don't need that validation anymore, so you're good to go. Again, bye, Felicia. <laughs> All right, last shuffle, Sag, and then we're going to get into your spread. Okay, let's do this, y'all. All right, Sag. Overall energy, what do we have for you? We've got, ooh, the Nine of Cups in reverse. So this is the realization that this situation was not what you thought. Either it's a realization that y y you it's coming to terms with not getting the wish fulfillment that you wanted or coming starting to understand that you're not going to get that wish fulfillment from this certain situation. This could be love. Um, this could be a passion project I'm getting here. Um, this could, it really could be anything, but it's anything that has emotional value to you. Something that you were, that you could potentially find emotional fulfillment in. 
And here you have the seven of wands. This is your energy, as in fire, okay? Um, defending yourself, putting up those walls, maybe putting up boundaries that probably should have been up <laughs> a long time ago. And Sag, if you are on the receiving end of this, if like this is not speaking to you, but this is speaking to how someone else is viewing you, then this is their energy, okay? This is a general reading, guys, so it can go either way. So just take it as it resonates. All right now, Sag, look at that. You've got the fool. You are ready to start step off onto something new. I like that. With your dignity intact with that seven of wands there. And we've got the five of wands. So yeah, there's conflict. It's minor conflict, really, because what I'm picking up here is that there are people around you or this person that you're, like, stepping away from is not having it. Why are you leaving me? I don't understand. You don't understand? Well, let me break it down for you. That kind of situation. With this Seven of Wands. Defending yourself. Defending your choices. Knowing that you have every right to do what it is you want. You have every right to take a leap of faith, and to go after that wish fulfillment that you were seeking from this certain situation that ultimately you're probably not going to be able to find, and you realize that by now. So let them argue. Let them bicker. Let them wonder why you're moving on. That's fine. Ain't got nothing to do with you. It's none of your business. You got things to do, boo-boo. <laughs> Getting into your storyline here, we've got death. Surely Curly transformation. It's time for this to end. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm -mm -mm. Death is coupled with seven of cups. You could have options here. You could be confused about how to go about ending this cycle. That feather just keeps falling. I want it back up here. So I'm going to try and do it while I talk to you guys. Um, um, there's confusion surrounding this, don't get me wrong, or there are just options. I'm seeing if you have been in a love relation, like in a, in a romantic relationship with somebody, this situation is coming to an end and you've got a ton of people around you that can take this person's place. <laughs> Sorry about it, but that's what I'm seeing, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling like if, Sag, Sag, if you're the one that's, that's initiating this transformation, You've had suitors for some time. Like, there have been people around you just waiting to get a chance to talk to you on a more intimate level. So I'm, I'm seeing that directly connected to this Nine of Cups in reverse, being like, okay, well, I'm not going to find this wish fulfillment here, but I know I want it, so I'm going to go off and find it somewhere else. And I'm going to look at all these different options here. <laughs> But on the other hand, there could be some of you that are confused. Very, very confused. Confused about how to bring this, this transformation about. Confusion about how to actively reach this Nine of Cups that you're desiring. Maybe even confusion on whether or not to transform and take a leap of faith. But ultimately, you know you need to because you feel it deep down, yeah? Moving forward, we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse not giving love to the situation anymore. I really see a breakup here with the Knight of Cups in reverse. I see it coupled with Six of Wands in reverse. Loss, failure, feeling like a failure, feeling like this was a, a lose, well, yeah, feeling like this was a lose-lose situation. But, what the often when the six of wands comes out in reverse for me i take that as a blessing in disguise very much like the sun in reverse but here this is yeah you might be taking one for the team you might be you might be losing out on something but ultimately especially with death here in this transformation this ultimately will serve you in a much better way because it's going to free you up to actually go after that nine of cups that you've been seeking But yes, I'm just going to say it. For some of you, this Knight of Cups in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse is definitely a breakup. Sorry to hear it. Sorry to say it. But it is what it is. Especially coupled with death here. Okay? 
All right, cool. Moving forward, we've got huh, the Knight of Wands in reverse. So, Sag, this is mo this very much could be you. Um, again, you could be dealing with another water sign. The Knight of Wands in reverse. It's like you're not willing to carry the torch for this relationship anymore. But I'm also picking up an energy of not really rushing into something else. Knight of Wands in reverse is coupled with, woo, the Queen of Wands. So there you are, Sag. Again. Or this could be another person, the other person that is connected with you. But this is why this energy of the Knight of Wands is not is being is not being taken advantage of. Is not being utilized in this moment, even though you know you might be finding yourself newly single. Instead, what you want to do is allow yourself to attract or use your, your, your innate magnetism to allow something more suited to come towards you while taking that time that that magnetism is working on your behalf to kind of heal a little bit. And I see, I'm seeing others, like you remember with some of you that, <laughs> some of you where I was saying you had a bunch of people around you just waiting for that moment. Well, some of them are gonna come rushing in. And you see how this queen of wands is like not really looking towards them? No, no thanks. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, you're sweet, but no. <laughs> yeah. Stepping into your power. Allowing your feminine aspects to work on your behalf is what I'm really getting there. Next, we have Eight of Cups. Yep, walking away. Looking for greater fulfillment, leaving all those cups that you stacked right there, all those eight cups, going off, looking for that two of cups to really complete that eight you've already stacked up, right? Coupled with temperance, excellent. Patience, divine timing I'm getting. Also coming into greater balance with yourself so that you actually can find that right situation, so that your magnetism really can bring forward someone who really compliments you. Allowing the universe to work on your behalf to get, look, I was just talking about this too. Look, that, that, that angel's got two, two cups right there. And I just said, walking away from these eight cups you stacked here to go search for that two of cups to make your 10. And look at what the universe is doing. Getting that ready for you. You got it, baby. Just give me, give me a minute. Let me work this out for you. Yep, that's right. Excellent, moving forward we have, ah, wow, the world, completion. Like this is a major cycle ending. For some of you, this could have been a situation in which this was a, this was like a partner that, a, a type of partner that you just kept attracting, kept attracting, kept attracting, and didn't understand why. But finally with this last situation, you come to some sort of realization that. And now you're really able to work on behalf of the, or, or work with the universe and let the universe work on behalf, on your behalf in order to really bring you that ideal partner. The world is coupled with six of pentacles in reverse. What is this cycle that's ending or completing? Imbalance in give or take in the relationship. For many of you, for many of you, this is giving way too much. And I only say way too much only because the people that you, the, the, the people or the circumstances that you were giving to really were just giving nothing back in return. Now, I understand that energy quite a bit personally. And it always bugs me when people say give way too much. Because I can't, I don't really believe if, if there is a balance here, I don't believe you can give too much. But what, it only becomes too much when people are consistently not giving back. And at some point you have to be brutally honest with yourself and say, I'm giving too much. And I need to stop. Well, this cycle is coming to an end. 
a transformation, a major transformation is happening here. This is very, very good, Sag. Or whoever is associated with a Sag, yes? All right, moving forward, we've got Eight of Wands in reverse. Stop communicating. Stop it. Stop talking to this person. Stop it. Do not entertain any sort of woe is me. Let me just explain. I just, no. No. Eight of Wands is coupled with. There's that page of swords again. Why am I being so adamant about not communicating with this anymore? This person, these people, these circumstances, whatever. Because it's not mature. They're just trying to weasel their way back in with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is immature communication, is childish communication, is um, lack of... It could be innocent. It could be. There may be some level of innocence here. But ultimately... This communication is not going to serve you because it really could just serve to suck you right back into where you're trying to get out of, especially for those who are prone to giving too much. That could have been a pitfall for you. I know it was for me for some time. Well, maybe we could just try again and well, maybe we could just, you know, maybe there's something else we could. No, no. Eight of Wands in reverse says we've gone as far as we can go. Oof. <laughs> Moving forward, we've got, look at that, the King of Swords. That's the energy that was just coming through. Stop talking to this person. Cut them out. They're not serving you. You could be dealing with an air sign. But someone is taking on the qualities of diplomacy. Yes, fairness. But you see, what's fair in this situation is cutting them out at this point or cutting yourself out of the circumstances. King of Swords is coupled with whoop, the Emperor in reverse. Why? Because someone is way too controlling. Way too controlling. It's so funny that this is coming out this way because I often see the Emperor as the King of Kings. But here we have I keep hearing a subordinate. So we keep we so I have I'm picking up an energy here of someone who is realizing the manipulative the manipulative nature of their higher up or someone um some sort of authority and is saying, Oh no no, this will not work for me anymore. If this is a relationship, like a romantic relationship, this could be a masculine energy that you really looked up to, that you really respected, whose opinion you really expected, re respected, and now you're starting to see them much clearer and much differently. Oh yeah. All right, finally, we've got, geez, the Two of Cups in reverse falling right under the Eight of Cups in which I was talking about that Two of Cups with Temperance in which the, te the angel is, is combining Two Cups. So there's a depiction of the Two of Cups there. Whoa. What I'm getting with the Two of Cups in reverse right now is this is in the process of manifesting for you. Two of Cups is coupled with the High Priestess. Upright. So yes, behind the scenes, even though... Especially with this Six of Wands in reverse here, even though you may not know it, you may not be aware of it, your Two of Cups is manifesting. Why? Because you are taking a leap of faith. You are making a conscious decision to make a change, to go through a transformation, to end toxic codependent cycles. The High Priestess is also saying, follow your intuition here. This also could be something that was triggered by this last uh, lunar eclipse. And you may not want to reveal, whoever, whoever this is, you may not want to reveal much about your situation right now. And that is not a bad thing at all. Especially with this Five of Wands energy here. All right, Sag. Let's get some oracle guidance for you. Oh 
more. All right. Oracle Guidance, please, for Sagittarius or the Cross Watcher for August of 2018. In relation to Sag. One card, please, Spirit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. One card, please. One card, please. One card, please. Here we go. What have we got here? The Sigil Keeper, card number 28. Symbols, signs, and messages. Yeah, I'm picking up an energy of following your intuition, following the signs of the universe. Really connecting with the messages that your higher self, um, your spirit guides, whatever could be um, sending you. And with this eye, do you see the, the eye on her, in her crown, or in her forehead, her brow? I'm really picking up energies of intuition, psychic vision, like really connecting with your intuition, especially with the high priestess here. Allowing your intuition to really guide you as you make this transformation. Let's get into the cards. 38. That is a number 11. Okay. The Sigil Keeper. Symbols, signs, and messages. When the Sigil Keeper comes to you, there will be no words. Instead, there will be shapes and signs and messages aflowing, as though a, a language of symbols is being shared with you. When she comes, you are being off being encouraged to participate in this process by creating and shaping your own magical symbols and beginning to consciously choose the symbolic language that you are creating and connecting with every single day. You may wish to find a symbol at this time at, yeah, at this time that represents you and the part of the journey you are exploring at present. You may wish to look around your home and see what, quote, hidden symbols have worked their way into your life and you may wish to rearrange these, remove some, replace others with symbols that are consciously chosen to be of greatest magical support to you at this time. Okay, so specifically what I just picked up on with that is there are probably some things in your in your home environment that remind you of this person, the circumstance, whatever we're talking about here. You might want to get rid of those. Look at your clothing, what you wear, and see the symbolic nature of this, and go through your jewelry and consider carefully the energy of its symbols and whether you wish to connect with this. Sigil work is simple, but ever so powerful, and this amazing being is a reminder to work with intelligence and to exercise your choice at all times. You must choose carefully now what symbols you keep about you, for they have shaped you more than you have ever truly considered. All right. So there it is, Sagittarius. This was a great reading. I really feel like it was for you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you guys for the month of September. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.